it is day 175. Sorry, <laughs> it's day 165. It is day 165. I don't know where my head was just at. 165 is today's um, number. Um, I had a call from the New York Bariatric Group where uh, my balloon was inserted and they have set the date. And the date is April 21st, which is actually about a month later than my original um, six month mark to have the balloon removed, which would have normally been about three, week three weeks from now. So we, I talked with them last week. Um, they called me. <laughs> I made them chase me and they called me and said, listen, you have to get it removed. Um, I, <coughs> I said, well, what if I were traveling? You know, can I take, can I keep it in a couple more weeks? Um, they said, you really shouldn't. You sign something, you have to get it out. Subsequently, um, one of the PAs, the physician's assistants called me and said, listen, just to let you know, um, the balloon is only guaranteed for safety for six months. After that, it can deflate it can then get stuck in your gastric tract and it is much more difficult to remove then. So uh, we really encourage you to have it removed uh, on the six month mark. I said, okay, does a week or two make a difference be because I'd like to have it maybe the first week in April? Um, the, the PA said, actually, I don't think that makes a difference at all. So I think you're fine. We'll call you back on Monday with an appointment. They called me back yesterday, which was Monday and the appointment they gave me, they said, we have any, any day available on the week of April 21st. Well, that's three weeks after that point. So technically I now have not just three more weeks with the balloon, but six weeks. So I have a month and a half left with the balloon. But here's the thing. For five months, five and a half months almost, I have been gung-ho about wanting to keep this balloon in longer and wanting more time with this balloon and immediately getting another balloon. I've been gung-ho. Like, I just knew I wanted that. It had to happen. I just, I wanted to keep the balloon. I wanted another balloon. I loved the balloon. Well, after going back to eating meats and fish and eggs and dairy, after I was able to go back to eating that, and I noticed the constipation, not so much the bloating, much more controllable gas, but constipation and still some gas. It somehow just hit me. I'm tired of this balloon. I'm tired of it. Now that I know, now that I'm able to eat regular foods and I don't have to modulate my diet so, so, so much and have such a tight, narrow range of foods I can eat. Now that it's more open, I feel like I have the controls already in place. I'm ready to be free and not have to deal with bloat and gassiness or really not so much bloat anymore, but the gassiness and the burps and whatever. I'm ready to not have to worry about that when I eat certain things. So I'm ready for the balloon to go. I never really thought I would say this because I was so enamored with this thing, but I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. I'm I'm ready for this balloon to get out. So weirdly, right when I decided I was ready to go ahead and let the balloon be out of me and be happy with that, I now have extra extra weeks with it. Um, but I'm going to use that time wisely. I have been eating well. I've been moving and trying to exercise when I can. I still have some kind of, I won't call them depression because I'm not depressed at all. There are just some times where the stress has got to me and I just need to lay down and I might lay down for a day. You know, um, if I've got that weekend, I'll lay down. Um, anyway, that's a whole other, other topic. And I have to really work on that because I don't want to, I don't want to sink further and for, further and further into a sedentary lifestyle. But I also want to rest and relax when my body needs it. And it's not just my body, it's mental state, emotional state, when you just need a break, when you just need a break. Um, that's the way I break, you know, that's my, that's the way that I, I get that um, release or relief, I should say, from sort of the stresses of the outer world. So um, that's my work the next couple of weeks is, 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 um, is finding ways to get that relief that don't sink me into a sedentary lifestyle even further. So that's how do I get that relief going for a long walk? How do I get that relief um, 
maybe dancing. Um, so I joined a walking group, kind of excited about this. Unfortunately, their walks are always scheduled at times when I'm working story of my life, but I have some time off this weekend next week. So I'm hoping to catch some of their walks. Um, dance classes. I found some great dance, um, dance sessions on YouTube that I've been doing. I'm really enjoying that. So it's really just stuff like that, that I'm really focusing on. I kind of don't care about the food thing anymore. It's maybe just because I spent the last five months daily kind of worrying about what to eat, what I can eat, what it's going to do to me, how I can be around people, what reactions are going to happen. And I'm so over that. So that's the big news on day 165. I finally have my, um, my takeout date, removal date. And uh, I actually want it to be sooner. <laughs> I'm sure I could call and make an appointment to get it done sooner, and I'm not going to. So I guess I don't want it to be all that much sooner, but I'm ready for this thing to end. I'm ready. I'm ready to get back to a normal, a normal lifestyle, new normal, right? Normal with the new habits that I have, that I don't have to finish everything, that I can cook small amounts, that I eat a lot of protein, and that's my focus during the day. And that helps me eat less carbs. But that when I have a carb day, it's okay. That's a treat day. I can enjoy that. I can enjoy that. Because sometimes you need a little treat and that's not bad. It's, there's no judgment that's bad to that. It's good to enjoy some nice things. I'm very, very lucky and fortunate to have a lifestyle where I can have things like that that I can enjoy. So just little mindset changes. They're already there. Now it's just the physical bit. So all my focus is. So the next six, six weeks is physical stuff. And then April 21, done. That's the end. All right. Day 165.